Good morning, YTBC. How are you? Sunrise. Made in England, a state pipe with some Orlick Golden Slice. So, I want to tell you a little story from my U.S. Air days. Uh, this probably was 1985, 84. I was a young man. I was probably early 20s, 22. I don't know. I'm 61. Do the math. Anyway... <laughs> We had an employee, fellow co-worker named George. Now, George was with the U.S. Air before when it was Allegheny Airlines out of Pittsburgh. Very small regional airline. And I believe they used pterodactyls like the Flintstones did uh, for their aircraft. And uh, George was a little tooked, as the Welsh say, meaning touched. He wasn't right, so George was a little tooked. Now you learned a Welsh word today. Tooked for touched or mentally ill. Dude was nuts. And everybody knew it. So we were in the break room, large, large break room. We called it the ready room. And... Oh, there was well over 200 employees in it. The flights were out. They haven't came in yet to get unloaded and reloaded. You know, so we were just waiting for the next bank of flights to come in. Now, everybody knew George was nuts. Not everybody worked with him. He worked daylight. So if you worked second shift, you didn't work with George. But everybody knew George. So... The ready room slash break room had all these windows, huge windows, so you could see the gates. The gates are right out the door. Jetway, gates, aircraft. So, someone said, here comes George. George is walking across the ramp. The ramp is where we worked, where the aircraft were parked, where the tugs, etc., cetera, the aircraft taxi. George was walking across the ramp. And in George's hands, he's walking. Now remember, George is nuts. George is walking across the ramp like this. Yes, George had a pair of hedge clippers in his hands. And he's walking towards the break room, the ready room. And he's doing this. He's walking, he's walking, he's walking. Now, there were two doors in the break room. The door that George was headed for, the opposite door to the other side of the ramp, you saw 200 and some employees like the place was on fire, like it was DEF COM 5, like we were being bombed, like in World War II or something. Everybody ran out that door. Some actually got hurt falling, running out the door because they thought George lost his mind and snapped and was coming in to kill somebody. Here, George just sharpened a fellow's hedge clippers. That's all he did. Guy gave him the hedge clippers. George took them home, brought them back in. Now, mind you, this was way before TSA, way before heavy security. Back then, employees did not have to go through metal detectors. You were not screened. We didn't even have IDs. Now, all airline employees, no matter if they work for McDonald's, the airline, the airport, janitors, whatever, have to wear an ID visible at all times. This was way before then. You could have brought anything you want in back then, hence the hedge clippers, without any questions. Well, once everybody calmed down, everybody went back in and figured out the panic was for nothing. I thought I'd share that story with you about George, U.S. Air, 
and the hedge clippers. And we'll see you. Bye now.